Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Technical Drawing. So we just finished off uh, completing the orthogonal view or orthographic uh, view of this T-nut uh, via the use of the nine line projection method. This time we're gonna cover drawing this in isometric view, okay? Which gives us a, so this is purely a 2D view and an isometric view will give the, the person in the workshop a little bit of a better idea of what it is they're trying to make and it will sort of give you a graphical 3D representation, but it won't be 3D of course, but it will give you that impression. So I've got my A3 over here again and and all stuck down to the board as usual. Remember if you don't have A3, uh, remember to use two pieces of um, A4 in landscape. So if we look at our isometric drawing here quite quickly, it's quite easy to sketch something in isometric by simply boxing it in. So when I look at this nut, I know that the overall shape of this is a rectangle. So if I was just to quickly sketch this, now this isn't the tutorial. So if I was just to quickly sketch this to give you a bit of a look, you can see I've got lines going off at 30 degrees. Okay. Actually, we can come right up here. Okay, and now we can come across here and up, sorry, up and up. And you can see we can quite simply, uh, you know, sketch something rather quickly. Uh, and this is one I did earlier. So just roughly hand sketched, okay? But this is what we'll work off, all right? Now, where we get these angles from, I'll show you here. We're gonna use our 30 degree set square, okay? So this one here. And if you get a look, I've sort of sketched that at 30 degrees. Now it's actually isometric means equal. So if we look at an isometric, it, it looks like this. And that angle from there to there is 30 and 30, okay? But overall, from that angle to that angle is actually 120 degrees. And that's why it's called ISO, because all angles are equal, all right? So let's put in our, <coughs> our T-square and let's start this drawing off. Now we want to start this drawing roughly about uh, two thirds of the way down the page and roughly a little bit to the left hand side, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw that, um, that rectangle shape. So with my T-square, my board, I'll pull this back a little bit so you can see it. And I'm just going to draw some lines and I'm not going to press that hard, remember? So I'm just pressing ever so gently. Then I'm going to project up. So there's my starting point, okay? Now the first thing we've got to, we've got to know is that it's going to be uh, 50, 50 mil this way and 60 mil that way, okay? So here we go. So we'll put it on here, our 50 millimeters from here, and it's gonna be 60 millimeters that way. We'll just double check that. 30, 60, yep, yeah, that's correct. And 60 millimeters that way. All right, what we're going to do now, we can project these lines up, of course. Okay, now on this front line here, we need to come up 30 millimeters. So I'll pick it up here, I'll put it on Going to come up about 30 millimeters. All right, and I'll, once again, I'm drawing this at um, two to one scale, okay? Just so you can see it a bit better. And I can do those lines here. So one thing I want you to remember that all vertical lines are at 90 degrees. All lines that recede, so recede away are at 30 degrees, okay, from the T-square. So now what I can do, you can see that I'm actually boxing it in, okay? I'm just pressing a little bit darker on this because um, the light, it's, I'm starting to lose the light outside and I've got uh, unnatural light. So there we have our basic rectangular shape. All right, so we know that um, we've got to come up now about 18 here to get this 
to get this little hat here. So putting on here, so 20, about 18 here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to dra draw that across. Okay, and draw this across here as well. Okay, so now I need to come in. All right, and I need I need to come in there. Uh, five, I believe it's five millimeters. So twenty five from fifteen, fifteen take away twenty five take away fifteen is ten. So five, that's correct. So I need to come in. Yes, that's double. So I need to come in ten. Sorry, guys. So it's two to one. So it's ten. Luckily, I checked that. So I'm just going to put a mark there and put a mark there, okay? So you can see those two points, and here we go. Now I'm going to shoot those lines vertically up and shoot this line vertically up. Now these lines get shot over, they recede to the right, and that line recedes to the right over here. Okay, so now you can see my T-nut taking shape. And this will now, I need to pick up this point here and project that across. But before I do that, it's going to come down from here. And now I project it across here. Okay, and I pick up that tiny little spot there to there. Alrighty, so now we've got one more line to put in, and it's this line here. Okay, now if we wanted to, we could ink that in so you could see it just a little bit better. Alright, and let's have a crack at that now without putting ink everywhere. So this is going to be my mark here. Okay, I draw the top one in as well. Got to be careful that I don't smudge my ink. So in, in actual fact, I've done my construction lines a little bit darker than what I like them. But once again, I said I did them a bit darker because I've lost the light, the natural light from outside, and hopefully you'll be able to see them a bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up these two lines here. Got to make sure that I'm picking it up correctly. And I'm not missing, and my T square is lifting up a little bit, so I've got to be a bit careful. Remember, it's all about accuracy, guys. Okay, so I've got that one there. I can come across now and get, actually, I'll get the bottom one here first. Okay, now I'm going to project up to get that one. I'm going to come across and get the next vertical one. Come across gently, trying not to smudge that ink. That one there. And that one there. Okay, you can see it taking shape. I'll do the bottom one now. Okay, I'll do the top one as well from here. Project up. Get that one there. across. I'm going to pick up that bottom edge there of the Tina, this one here. And now I can project up last but not least and get that corner right there and you'll see it's taken shape now. Now there's one more little line that I haven't got and that's this one here. So we need to fix him straight away. Okay, now once that ink dries, we can actually erase all those construction lines. And you can see that my T-nut has taken shape. All right. Now there's one thing that I haven't done, and that's the circle in the center. All right. Now, in reality, what we'd have to do, we'd have to work out a little box on top here. 
Okay, so what I could do, I could find the center of that top face by doing thus. Just a very light projection line. Okay, project another one over here. So I want to pick up that center. Now in isometric, it won't be a circle. In, when, in actual isometric view, it's going to be an ellipse, elliptical shape, which looks something like this. Okay, like an oval shape. It's not going to be a perfect circle, okay, because you're not viewing on it in the correct orientation. Now, I made a mistake in the orthographic drawing before, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I said this was M12. That's a mistake. That's actually M14 by 2, but that's okay. Look, I just want to rectify that, M14 by 2. Okay, that was my mistake. So... Anyway, so if it's M14, so M, I originally drew that circle at M12, all right? So that was uh, 12 more diameter, so it was 24 overall. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw a little, measure it up from here. So M24... Sorry, M12. So I need to come 12 mil this side and 12 mil that side. All right. I'm just going to put a light line on here. Okay. Now I'm going to put a light line this way from... So these, these lines are intersecting the center point. All right. So now I can draw my box quite simply by using my compass that I had earlier. And I'm going to set that up to M12. Sorry, not M12. It's double. We're doing two, two sides, so it's going to be... Yeah, I'll set it to 12 millimetres, not M12, okay? So I just pop that in a bit more. You can see in setting it up here. Just double-check that on the 10... Okay, so now what I can do, I know that it's going to go from here to here. Actually, I'm a little bit off, sorry. From there to there to there. Right, okay. So what I can do now, I can lightly do this little square up the top. And I'm just going to, once again, box it in ever so slightly, ever so gently. I'm making a perfect square on the top face. An isometric square, that is not a, uh, not a square that you can physically see. Okay, so you can see it's, either, it's like a parallelogram that's being pushed over sideways. And what we're going to do here, now this is not the correct way of doing it. However, uh, there's a different method for doing an isometric circle. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in that now because that's not a requirement of the drawing. So, but what you will see that it will actually look something like this. Okay, so you'll see these sh these two arcs will be the same, and they'll be longer arcs. Okay, and you probably find that I can. There's more drawing that I have to do to pick that up. But anyway, there's actually more lines. So what I'll do here, I'll just ink that in ever so carefully. Okay. And now that's pretty much done. So with my eraser, I can carefully... Uh, start erasing the construction lines. Remember the ink may still be a little bit wet here. Um, just gonna, I'm not going to try and go over it too heavy with the eraser. Just ever so lightly just to try and get away those construction lines. Now the pencil I should have been using to do the construction line should have been a 6H pencil. 
I've been using a HB, okay? I didn't have a 6H. Sort of a bit hard to find that sort of um, varying sizes of pencils now. So here's our finished view. And don't forget, we need to write on here what it is. So very gently, if I just come up here and put a light line. Now I've got a scribed line on here that I did many, many years ago when I did technical drawing at university. And put that under here. And what I'm going to write now, I'm going to write isometric view, all in capital letters. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. So a quite a simple um, uh, isometric view. There's no dimensions in an isometric view. Remember, it's a view provided to give the reader a better understanding of what it is they're trying to make. So purely an isometric view just shows that the actual, what the item should look like. Okay, so there's no dimensions, there's no call outs or anything like that. Um, if this was just a rough sketch and you wanted to make it in the workshop, sure, you could put a couple of dimensions on it, but Technically, under um, AS 1100 drawing standards, you do not dimension, okay, an isometric view. You can, however, put call-outs on it, so like for a bill of materials, and uh, that's uh, something else you can read about anyway. All right, so thank you very much for following on, and um, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.